So for this week's Thirsty Thursday, we are headed to drink up the vibes and flavors of Brazil with a Midwestern twist. Bracero is the latest venture for chef John Mannion, known for his wood-fired cuisine at El Che. And the beverage menu is also driven by South and Central America. So take a look. Bracero is a lot of things to me. Uh, it is one, a love letter to my like my my formative formative years when I was a little kid. We moved to Brazil, and my mind was blown by like not only Brazilian food but like the cosmopolitan nature of São Paulo. It's what made me want to be a cook. It is what made cooking central to my family's life. It really formed who I am today. Secondly, it is a return to this West Town neighborhood. Uh, when I was a young cook, I really wanted to explore these flavors, and I did at a place called Moss. So it feels really uh, full circle at this point in my career to be back in this neighborhood exploring the same ideas that I did a couple decades ago. The food at Bracero is inspired by time in Brazil and subsequently in South America but it's also inspired by Chicago right now, cooking with the talented group of young people that I do here. The name Bracero is the basket that we throw wood into that makes the charcoal that we cook over. A couple things we pull off that, whole fish, my idea of a good time. We have snappers right now that are beautiful, coming every day. Rio de Janeiro style charcoal grilled chicken, little gallinas, so like baby chickens, super tender. Got a little triple dip sauce. The sweet potato comes out of there, cold roasted. And then we have some traditional things we're super proud of, like the moqueca, which is one of the world's great dishes. It's a seafood stew from the northern regions. It's something that I've been like playing with since I was a young cook. It's pretty ambitious, really creative, and sort of touched on a lot of different bases. We spent a lot of time developing both the food and the beverage together, so it really has been one thought. And you know, Alex and I have been working on these things for a long time together. So it flows, it all works. We're trying to get people to branch out of their comfort zone with things, um, try new ingredients that they don't know even how to say or anything. You know, cachaça is such a big deal in Brazil. And we're just trying to break that barrier of like, it's not frightening because you don't know how to say it or um, you know, you just, you've never heard of it before. It's really just delicious at the end of the day. And just make it nice and comfortable um, and kind of, you know, just give a new aspect of uh, cocktails and drinks. Always want to focus on South American wine. We always feel it's a, a part of the world that doesn't get the credit it deserves for that. I and mean, what we really wanted to do here was take uh, one of the barriers away, which is price point. It's something that becomes very intimidating to people for wine in general. So we did 100 bottles of wine under $100. Really focus on what people are looking to drink. There is some stuff on there for us too that we all love. Uh, Pais being one of those grapes that not just myself, but everyone on the staff loves on top of that. And uh, you know, just again, same kind of idea of getting people to branch out of their comfort zone. Um, move past some of those very traditional wines and try something new or something different from a place that you've probably never had anything from. The Caipirinha, it's Brazil's just drink of choice, if you will. It's cachaça lime sugar, uh, one of arguably the world's greatest cocktails. Cachaça is made from sugarcane, has this really nice grassy kind of component to it uh, that just livens everything up. Very similar to rum without that like very inherent sweetness to it. Very simple. It just is one of those drinks that transports you to a beach and you just want to drink a bunch of them. Might get you in a little trouble too on top of that. We have a rum old fashioned uh, made with aged agricole rum. There's a little bit of bourbon in there just to kind of keep it that, you know, Chicago brown spirit kind of quality to it. And we make it with a coffee demerara syrup. Uh, coffee is one of Brazil's biggest exports and we wanted to kind of loop that in somehow without making it a proper coffee drink. So you get this beautiful rum agricole uh, sweetness, that nice heat from the bourbon, um, and then this really beautiful coffee undertone to it. And then the other one is our panther milk. It's a more obscure drink for Brazil, but it's a uh, milk blend made with coconut and sweetened condensed milk, a little bit of cachaça, and ours has a, a fermented banana syrup in there as well, um, just to kind of keep it that nice tropical feel to things. All right, I've got the panther's milk. And I got the caipirinha, a uh, perfect way to start your dinner at Bracero. And they both have? They both have cachaça in it, Brazilian spirit. Got to try it. All right, cheers, my dears. Saúde. That just, looks delicious. It was very, very good. It's actually, I'm a little nuts about it right now. Uh, check out Bracero <laughs> on Instagram at Bracero Chicago and make a res on BraceroChicago.com. And happy hour is from 5 to 6, Tuesday through Sunday. And you know, I always like to give a pro tip. This is a space where I feel like you could walk in and yeah. sit at the bar because their bar is so large. Oh, so, so if you can't get the reservation. Yeah, or like, you know, you're wanting to do something last minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah.